This is VCDS, so this is the Volkswagen Audi uh, software diagnostic tool. So if you saw my previous video, I looked at reviewing OBD11. The problem was with OBD11, there wasn't really much I could do on the Bentley. It was brilliant uh, on other cars, but on the Bentley, well, you know, so I've got this software. I'm going to give it a go now. So let's start the car up. It's installed. Okay, so device did successfully install. I'm just going to try and make sure I, actually I can use the mouse. So uh, let's do a auto scan. So I think I need to select, so you can see all the cars, loads of Volkswagens, I'm not gonna, loads of course of Volkswagens, Audis, Seat, Lamborghini. Uh, I'm gonna select the range and then I'm gonna do start, I guess. Let's have a look at this. Um, so you can see the, let's go through this. So you can see the, the status of the engine is okay. Auto transmission, ABS, everything. Roof electronics, so this was the one, roof electronics that OBD11 was not able to clear. So in this case, it's picked up about, oh, I don't know how many different modules, but this was the tricky one, the roof electronics, that the status on on VCDS is all good. Now let's go, let's close that. Let's see what else there is. Okay, um, so that's if you want to reset your service interval, which I don't want to do, because I want to get it serviced when it needs to get serviced. Um, select so I guess this will just give us a list of all the modules yeah okay so what did we have engine everything yeah the thing is there's no error messages but let's just have a look and see what it displays so this is a navigation Actually, what's that? Does that mean there's, there's two fault codes? Let's see. I don't know. Let's give it a click. Okay. No, okay. No faults. Output test, security access, adaptations. What is, okay. <laughs> That's probably to do with long coding, which I'm not gonna even attempt. Communication error, okay, go back. So, install two, drivetrain, but there, was, there wasn't any errors, so there's probably no need for me to have a look in this because I don't understand all of this. I'm gonna go back. Um, let's look at, okay, so we've looked at, we looked at select control module, auto scan we did initially, service reminder, we're not gonna reset that counter on there. Uh, OBD2 functions, retrieve and clear faults, freeze frame, obtain live data. Let's see what that shows us. And then you can see up here, it's even got an option to convert manufacturer specific codes, i.e. Bentley codes to VAG codes, Volkswagen Audi codes, which would make it easier to understand. Because essentially, uh, there's similarities between the both. Okay, let's see how long this takes to run. Okay, so this just seems to be like the actual data on the car, graph, 
Let's see if we can use the throw tool. Vehicle speed, engine RPM. Let's see if that's true. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Turbo, what's the, I'm not gonna even press that. Uh, read data. Um, what's readiness? Okay, so it's got more information. Thankfully, everything's passed. Don't know what freeze frame. No. Gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, go back. Um, applications can base. Oh, I need to look at what can based is. I don't know what can is. Oh, transport. Okay, activate transport mode. No. So there is something about how it cuts off fuel systems and um, how it doesn't consume energy when it's been transported for a long time. Controller channel map. What's this? Yeah, I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's reading something. Okay, so it's ECU mileage. Read. Okay. All right, it doesn't want to read the ECU. This is toolbox. I don't know what that toolbox is, but I'm just gonna no uh, upload debug log files, email today's file history data. Okay, so options. So that's about it. I mean, obviously, again, in a way, this is good because it confirmed that there's no real problems with the car. But importantly, the error message that I was getting on OBD 11 about the roof is not true because the auto scan here was perfectly fine. Um, so I don't know how I can actually get the logs, but it seems to be working perfectly fine. Um, I'm gonna test it again whenever and we'll see. But so far, so good. So I guess for this, being the, the original VCDS, which is the Volkswagen approved one, Volkswagen Audi, approved one this one gets a thumbs up definitely um the price of this series a lot depends where you get it from um i didn't spend too much on this fortunately but yeah happy with that thanks for watching